But typically when the master blaster meets the master blaster, what do you guys discuss? Do you say that I beat Lily more than you beat Magra? Like <laughs> No, not really. Um, what I've always um, loved and appreciated about Sachin is that um, his sense of humor is, uh, is quite good. He's not a guy who speaks about um, I this, I that. Uh, I can remember there was a particular individual, an Englishman by the name of Jeffrey Boyden. <laughs> no one ever knew that... Yeah. Um, he was a nice specialist in real life. <laughs> no, no one ever knew that. You know, when I say a nice specialist, yeah. because if you do commentary with him on a regular basis, is I would have done that. I would have done yeah, this. A wonderful cricketer, but I would have played I, butter cricket. Yeah, but I'm, I, I like your, your Yorkshire accent <laughs> as well. <laughs> so Dennis Lilly said about Jeffrey Boycott hmm. that he's the only person who has fallen in love with himself at a young age and has remained faithful ever since. I tell you something. That's the, um, I, I never quite um, uh, could get into to bed with Dennis Lilly. <laughs> But I can tell you for sure, I would get into bed with him with that comment. <laughs> <laughs> but you had a nice chat with Sachin in his music room. And mm. I know Sachin for a long time, mm. he doesn't allow anybody to oh, come into oh. the music room. You went there. What were you chatting? What, Bob well, Marley? We spoke Clapton? about, yes, for sure. Yeah. We spoke about Bob Marley. Uh, we even spoke about um, some people that he knew as well. I think it's uh, the guy from Dire Straits, uh, Mark Kuffler. Oh, yeah. um, he, we spoke about... Uh, People like Elton John, we Eric Clapton, because Eric Clapton owns a place in Antigua. Wow. So uh, I'll catch up with him every now and again. And he, he did um, the forward to, to, to one of my books as well. I think it was Hitting Across the Line. Wow. So it, it was uh, cricket, I guess, Mick Jagger. Mick Jagger, we yeah. Spoke of, he loves uh, his Mick, cricket. Uh, Mick Jagger. Um, we, we spoke of uh, so many individuals you know, who appreciate um, Seen, um, seen, 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 seen cricket. Did you ever meet Bob Marley? Oh, I met him. Uh, I met him a few times. Yeah. Uh, I guess um, there's some stories to tell there. You know? uh, <laughs> it's, uh, he, um, he came to our dressing, dressing room in Jamaica. Then after that, um, he asked if he could come to the hotel where we were staying at the time, the Pegasus Hotel. And if anyone knows uh, the Jamaicans, uh, in terms of the Rastafari yeah. movement, uh, you would know that they are all most the Rastafarians are members of the Green Party, you know. And uh, when you say the Green Party, uh, you can do some research and find, <laughs> find out what I'm speaking about, you know. <laughs> but um, they came and he came. They came to my room at the hotel to to meet the guys, and I was pretty just privileged wow. to know that here, guys, music who, who you would listen to listen to the inspirational side of things that. Bob Marley would sing about, here's this guy in your dressing room with 12 other members of the 12 tribes of wow. Israel in your room. That's, that's, um, that's very special. But the funny part about it, uh, in the back, uh, all of a sudden, I could see this huge bonfire. And I'm saying, wow, what's going on here? It's not allowed. When you have a 60 year journalist from England, <laughs> on the same floor as well, or in the hotel. No, that wasn't the best advert, I think, at that time. So I had us to be quite brave and said, um, Brother Bob, oh, this is not allowed. You know, it's, it's not allowed in here, you know. I know I'm, I'm doing something totally against your religion, but uh, our religion say, um, no, we cannot. So uh, he obliged. And the amazing thing about it, uh, Bob, when you hear this, uh, even if you'd hear maybe a Chris Gale talk yeah. as well too. Yeah. He's also from Jamaica. When those guys um, speak at times, every two words is like, yeah man. <laughs> yeah man. <laughs> everything cool man. Yeah. And everything cool down then, uh, the fire was put out. <laughs> <laughs>